my good people good morning good afternoon good evening we have come again to unleash some facts and this is coming from our prime minister the things that bishop kuka said when when his heads <laughs> when his head is correct when they induce him he start talking from another side of his mouth listen to this he said breaking news it is time to end nigeria so that people who want development can go ahead bishop kuka he said i have never been as unsure of nigerian future as i am now bishop matthew hassan kuka he said after independence in order to build a great nation each country went to work but in nigeria after independence our people went to pray and fast so while we were praying malaysia came here and took our palm seedling and built a great factory of it while we were praying singapore went into investment in technology while we were praying india went into ict while we were praying china went to massive industrialization while we were shouting allah koba allah koba uae went into massive infrastructural development while we were binding and casting lucifer japan went into technological development he said while we were speaking in tongues denmark went into education of our citizens while we were mounting big speakers in our places of worship usa was mounting man on the moon after our prayers god being a wise god decided to reward us according to our level since those that went into the industrialization, technology, infrastructural development, ICT, education, etc. had been rewarded accordingly, it is only wise God, only wise God reward, reward us with our efforts in prayer. It is only wise God rewards us with our efforts in prayer. That is why today, Nigerian pastors are competing in building the biggest churches. That is why there are more prayer houses and worship places than hospitals and schools. That is why people rush to prayer houses for medical and business resolution instead of hospitals. That is why we don't do business proposals before jumping into business since we are going, going to back it up with prayers. And when such collapses, we blame devil. That is why it is sin to say anything negative about pastors and imams. That is why our pastors don't consider the, the opinion of engineers while building and blame devil when the building collapses. That is why faith in God replaces building pillars. And when it collapses, we blame the, on Lucifer. We blame it on Lucifer. That is why our pastors are making sure they plant church, church branches instead of schools in every street in Nigeria. That is why we always wait for God to do that which ability, which we have ability to accomplish. He has which ability to accomplish he has handed over to us. That is why we want our teachers to labor on earth and come to heaven for their rewards. Nigeria is a prayer-loving, God-fearing nation. Religion has taken the place of technology, infrastructure, education, and all. When we are traveling, we ignore all the necessary road requirements servicing our of our vehicles and prayers and once we pray we can put a half fit a half fit vehicle on the road and blame our stepmother or mother-in-laws if anything goes wrong that is that is why there are more people dying on our roads than wild life animals in the wilderness because we pray and fast and leave everything to God when God has given us all we need to survive and build a nation. God help us.
Then they 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 they. I don't even know what to say. This is the fact. This is exactly where we have found ourselves and where we pushed ourselves. Fake life. Bible say if you do not walk, do not eat. But people that are eating and throwing away today are the people that are sitting in office without working. People that walk, they don't eat in Nigeria. So Nigeria is upside down nation. Upside down. When you are thinking you will see the nose up, please check down. That is where the nose is. Nigeria as a nation is upside down nation. Nothing is working. Because they are not working. You see, the president will tell you, even if it's a NEPA bill I present as my certificate, you ought to take it. And his king's men, the, the Yorubas, they will say, yes, give him president. Emil Kong, he deserves it. How dare you talk about turn by turn when it is democratic setting? Is it not, should it not be by election? Should it, by, should it be by selection? What will I even say to leave the rest? Look at Namdekana today in uh, custody of DSS. Whereas criminals are gallivanting and moving around the street. Criminals are being chanted. Obuago, they are great people in Nigeria. Nigeria is upside down. When you think Nigeria will move, look, check, check yourself. Nigeria is stagnant because... You cannot move with the head. You can't move with the head. It's already upside down. So it is not moving. It is stagnant. Had it been Nigeria is on its feet, it can move. But it has turned upside down. Because we neglect work. We neglect technology. We neglect education. Think of it about it. How many months, how many months Nigerian students will be on strike? And the criminals that say they are the leaders are traveling abroad, processing their, their children's educational papers abroad, you know, trying to pay millions and billions of dollars just to get them educated. But their own indigenous people are on strike for no just cause, maybe for something that 3 million naira can solve. They will not do it. They will even decide to bury 10 billion naira underground they will bury it they will buy ice block they will do everything to cool it off they will be fueling their uh, their um, generator plants they will fuel it from morning to night just to be cooling the money underground they will make sure it is chilling so that it will not rotten at the end of the day when they bring it out it will rust because what goes around comes around so what what when we say give us our own country so that we can move ahead so that we can develop you say we are wicked we are criminals we are this we are that even our own people are supporting the stagnancy nigeria is upside down don't wait for the head to move head cannot move it is leg that can move and carry the whole body hence nigeria is upside down it cannot move the simple fact simple fact on Rokali Bay, and when you hear this, please share. Help us to share. Simon Ipa will not stop at anything but to make sure Nigeria is disintegrated. And that is the best option, the best choice, the best wish you should wish yourself and your children so that they can develop. If I have said contrary to what you think, drop your comments and tell us where we are coming from. All right? Thank you. God bless you all.